Hello everybody, my name is Bruno Flavin. I'm going to present you uh, this book that I've written. It's about um, how to make in testing automation strategy for a product owner. That means that you're not a developer and you try to use Conception. And I've used WordPress as a CMS, as a web application, because it's simple, it's easy to install, and it's very intuitive for somebody who is not doesn't have any technical background. And that's my case. I've just learned by doing. So basically, I wanted to be able to use and to make a proof of concept of that. So that it has been this book. Everything is written down so you can read the, the things. The book is available and it's very cheap, by the way. It's not so expensive. So uh, what we're going to do now is we want to have, as you can see, I'm working on a Mac. And what, we don't, what we're going to do is we want to have the same environment used for this book. So I've made a small, as you can see, I'm using Sublime Text. That's one of the advice. So you can use as an editor Sublime Text or Visual Cut Studio. Sublime Text is almost free. And you can use also Visual Studio. That's the first thing that you need to have is to have an editor to edit pages, uh, PHP, whatever code you need, especially the code that is available here. For instance, this is the first chapters and you got different elements, so you need an edition. For a product owner, maybe that's not, um, that's not obvious, but you need to have an editor, okay? What's next you need to have? You need to have also MAMP, because it's very easy uh, to use MAMP that's working for both on Windows and on uh, on PC. That's uh, that stands for Apache, MySQL, PHP, and LAMP Linux. Uh, it's for normally LAMP. That means that you have a server. You have you are enabled to install locally your WordPress. So we will need it. Okay, because we will use we will use it to install the WordPress thing. So we're gonna download at the same time WordPress. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna launch MAMP. So I've already installed, you need to be able to do that. That's very easy to install. What is required is to give your account I mean your admin account and then it would launch directly MySQL server and Apache server and then if I go in my things I will be able to go to localhost and also as you see I've made a WordPress demo and I made also a shortcut on the, my uh, is empty for the moment this is where I'm gonna put the WordPress that I'm currently downloading okay and as you can see also I have PHP my admin right. Um, right, with all the database it would be useful to create the database for the future installation of WordPress so basically I have MAMP I have Sublim and I have Chrome for sure because it's everything is be, will be done in the navigator. And this is quick time just to record this video. Okay, so let's go back to my program. So let's see if uh, the download of WordPress is finished. Yeah, apparently. And you have it here. So I've downloaded several times. I'm taking this one. I copy it and I copy it into my WordPress HT Docs. You see the HT Docs of MAMP, MAMP HT Docs WordPress. This is where WordPress is gonna run. Okay, so I just open it or decompress it. I remove this one, and what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna cut and paste everything at the root of the server of the root of this directory. So let's remove this one. And then if I go on MAMP, it's empty right now. If I refresh, I have all the installation that is ready. And it's going to be localhost, WordPress demo, etc., etc. And then 
I, have, I need to create this database. So I think I've write down the database things. So I'm going to name it demo dot underscore dot cp dot etc etc. I know by the best that uh, I'm using UTF uh, eight. Huh? This is, does not. Uh, whoops. Ah, it's already existing. Sorry, I should have removed it. Yep. And then I recreate it. Go. It's empty now. Okay, uh, it was it was existing because I made several tests. Okay, so for the moment this is empty, and we we're able to launch the things. We're not gonna launch right now because what I want to have is I, I want to have um, WordPress working on a specific uh, on a specific on a custom URL. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna change my host file, which is here what I define. If I go here, so we're really starting. It was just a presentation of the environment. Right now, we're really starting what is written in the chapter of the book. So what I want is I want a custom URL. So I'm going to create a custom URL. That means that I'm going to edit my host file, which will um, simulate, enfin, we which pretend that this URL goes to the local host. So what I need to do with that is I need to open the console okay i'm gonna put more bigger because i'm short-sighted okay and if i follow the instruction i need to log as an admin okay so this is my uh, admin password for my oops sorry i made a mistake like always here we go. I think if I do uh, then I will know that I'm root. Okay, and then with VI, which is the editor by default that you have on a Mac, I will edit this old file. As you can see, I've already had a lot of uh, personal um, personal address. So to insert inside the host file, I need to have to type. The, the key E, then it will insert. For instance, let's go back to my previous and I will create this one. I will create this new address, means that the local host will be redirected to this domain name. As you can see, I put a hyphen, no, a hashtag, sorry, it's not a hyphen, a hashtag to comment. It's uh, for the comment. It's just pretending, okay, this is, for instance, I'm going to add oop, demo video, okay? And I'm going to hit Control C, Control C, and then colon right quit to write effectively this URL, okay? I'm going to exit as the as a admin source, and I'm going to clear, oops, sorry, I'm going to clear my console. And though normally, if I go back to my things, I will be able to access. Uh, this is normally this is normal because it can't can't uh, you can find. I forget to. Uh, this is concept. That means that this local uh, what was what the, the problem is that did not put HTTP in front of it. Okay. And now he knows, Google knows that I want to go there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to install this, not on localhost, but on this custom URL. You see? Okay. So let's do it. We have, remember, we have our database. We're gone. Let's go. So we know the database name, we know the username. Yes, in, in MAMP, you have to know that the username is root root. So I'm going to cut it. Okay, so this is root root. And then my, sorry, I, I've, I've given the same name for the database and the my site. So because it's easier. 
And then the database name is not WordPress, it's demo CP test website. This is this one, demo CP underscore test site. Okay, and then I should be okay. I run the installation and this is where I have, so the installation, uh, I'm gonna first, and then I'm gonna do this as admin and then admin oops i want a weak password yes i'm not scared about because it's all local so i don't care don't do that on production for sure hmm? and it's a fake email because i don't care and discourage doesn't matter okay i launch the installation and i'm done so up, i type admin and admin and then I'm here, okay? I have this installation on a WordPress demo. And what is very important is that the, in the general settings, I have this current address. So when I will make the test, I will use this URL as a base URL for conception, okay? The last thing I'm gonna show you is that, and we will go to the next step, but that will be the object of the second video, is that we will go through the installation of Codeception directly inside our WordPress installation. You see, now we have something and we will go work, we will work directly here because that's the easier way, okay? And this is exactly the purpose of this Pioneer and Basic level. It's to be, to, to get, to get in touch, I mean, to, to practice a little bit uh, conception very easily. So we would go through all this stuff and you would see that it's very easy. So for a PO, I, re I repeat, it's for a product owner and not for a developer. As a product owner, you can, you can get familiar with the, with the testing, okay? So see you in a minute for the second video.